Welcome to this week's The Choice. And this week, well, we're heading down to Uncle Hop's down in Florida for the coveted. Coveted. Uh, coveted. Osceola Turkey. Osceola, yeah. Osceola Outfitters <laughs> heading down there. You think we're going to have any fun? Pro probably. Probably. Probably a little bit of yeah, fun. Because one of the things that happens when we go down to visit Hop and the guys yeah, we have fun. is you're going to have fun. You're going to laugh, aren't yep. you? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, pretty, did you? Pre, pre, pretty sure about that. You're pretty sure about yeah, that? Just, just a little. Okay, this week's lucky logo is Zeiss, the Zeiss. ultimate in optics. Oh my gosh. See that? He takes my mm -hmm. line all the time, too. Oh, we yeah. can never get a word in edgewise, do we? You always got to get a one liner there. I know. That's it. Always that one liner. All right, we've got lots to show you, so let's get going. I guess like that decoy. Let's go. The three amigos. <laughs> turkey hunting. We're going turkey hunting and RJ is doing the shooting. Yes, sir. You're doing the watching. You're doing the watching. Right. <laughs> Don't shoot no hens. No jakes. What are you laughing? I'm being serious. We're shooting the gobbler. Okay. <laughs> Alright. Let's load up. We got we got several people going. Your mom's going. I'm going, your dad's going, Kenneth's going, and these two are going. So we gotta hide seven people. It's all changed. <laughs> They've all changed in like the last year. And I'm, you know, I'm saying, your voices have all changed. <laughs> just a little. Every time I go down there, I just get the same rush, just because we're basically family down there. And I was just excited to reunite the three amigos, get down there, Uncle Hop, seeing Case fish. It's just an amazing feeling. I'm gonna dry my gloves out. Dryer. <laughs> it's not even worth the response. Is this a sign of getting old when you get bobbleheads on your dash? <laughs> Here we just seen uh, one, three big toms, several hens. I'm gonna try to get these boys set up. See if we can get RJ a, a turkey. All right, gang, ready? Yeah. Hey, uh. When we went out with RJ, I mean, we had an entire gang full of people going out to sit and try getting a bird. And you wouldn't think that's possible to make something like that happen. And you know what? Down with Hoppy and the guys, it's possible. Like a hen. Hen. You can be at the right place at the right time. Birds are walking all around you and they just won't commit to the decoys. And I'll tell you what, that's turkey hunting. It's like decoying on any other situation with any other animal. Sometimes it works, sometimes it don't. Patience pays off. And as you know me, I don't have a lot of patience for turkeys. <laughs> Let me just lay down. <laughs> oh. Are we waiting on Vicky? Yeah. I'm just. Oh, Princess, you're here. <laughs> they get in that truck. Y'all got to go. Y'all got to go. It's spring, and it's turkey season. But all kidding aside, I do like turkey hunting. We've just made it fun through all these years, and, and going down to Hoppies is a blast. And it's just the camaraderie. It's everything that you ever dreamed of, and then some. Well, we're headed over to... Uh... A secret spot, it's so secret, I hope the turkeys know about it. We've left really early, and hopefully we can get all set up before the, the sun starts peeking out and the turkeys can see us. Stay tuned and hopefully we will see a big red head. Waking up in the morning is not my thing. We had to get up there pretty early. I'm not a morning person whatsoever, I'm still a kid. I like sleeping in until 12, but I mean, for turkey hunting, one of the things you have to do is get up early, and you just can't get the same feel in the afternoon or anytime else, because once you hear them first start gobbling in the morning while they're waking up, starting to fly down, it's just, 
are unbelievable. When RJ can have his three amigo buddies, you know, all three of them sitting out there together, sharing these hunts and these experiences together, getting the kids out there, letting them have fun, enjoying the outdoors, there's nothing better than that. Every time we're down there, it's a different story. This time, we actually went in palmettos, branches, huddled down into them, and we just kind of sat there. We put out Scruffy right in the middle of the, the little area there. We could hear them out in the distance. We finally had a few birds come through. You just, when they're walking past it, you just get adrenaline to see if they're gonna come down that strip right into the area of shooting. And finally, when they got all the way down to the end, they turned around and they started coming back up our way. My adrenaline started rushing. They got up to Scruffy. They were actually trying to attack him. While they were attacking Scruffy, we were just sitting there kind of waiting for a good shot at one. They were all bunched up. I just wanted a clear shot at one, have my bead on its head. My adrenaline was pumping so much in my leg, I felt I felt like it was shaking. I don't even remember if it was. And I got this shot from a TC, and I mean, it was a pretty good shot. RJ's wanting to hug somebody, and I won't hug him because I don't want to spook this big Tom off here. Oh, buddy. Good shot, man. Good shot. Let's go check this dude out. Old Scruffy went to battle, but he's still standing. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, congratulations, Thank buddy. <laughs> Was that cool or what? You're shaking. <laughs> Was that nuts or what? The big strutter come in, but you kept your eye on this one the whole time. The reason I said shoot this one, he had a longer beard, but the other one was the dominant turkey. So now we can come back to this spot in a couple of days, and this that turkey will still be, you know, wanting to breathe and mate and do everything, but that one you shot had a longer beard than the than the one that was doing the strutting. Calm down, man. Calm down. Well, RJ, congrats, buddy. Thank you again. I am not used to that boy's That's voice. That's <laughs> killing me. Thanks again. <laughs> <laughs> Nevertheless, we had a good, good hunt. It was fun and lots of goblin. Lots of goblin. Lots of goblin. Next thing you know, he's coming out of the sticks over there. And yeah. And he's seen old Scruffy. Why do they want to pick on Scruffy? Looks like we lost a, a tail feather in the battle. <laughs> Looks like the turkey's got an eight or nine inch beard on him. Nice. I'm thinking he's going to be a three year old because the two year olds usually aren't that sharp, but he's, he's probably a three. Well, congrats again and thank you again. We'll take some pictures tonight. Strategy on the Osceola Gobbler. Now that is a science. <laughs> yeah, right, they're turkeys. We get set up and Hoppy says, okay, this is where we're gonna set up. We're gonna put the decoys there. He's like, Ralph, you sit back there by the mower. Vic, you sit underneath the tractor and film from there. Really? Underneath the tractor? Coffee in the front of the what else do you need? <laughs> Turkey hunting Osceola style. I like the idea of using the tractor. The only thing I think that should have changed was I got in the cap, turned on the air conditioning and the music and just relaxed. Well, we've got some gobblers back over to our right. I can't see them right now. Vicky's set up over here with a different camera angle. She can see the strutters. There's two or, two or three. We're hoping we can tow them around to the left-hand side, which is out in front of our tractor here, our blind. If they come around behind us, we may be in trouble. So we're in the right place. We're using the tractor because the tractor's been sitting there all this time. And I mean, the birds flew down. They were working. You could hear them. We could see birds everywhere, hear birds everywhere. OK, I got it. I do have a gobbler on the other side of the fence. Gobbler on top of that ditch. 
No, I know. There's no, and he's running. Head is all white. Coming this way? Yes, sir. So they're going back and forth. They're all over the place. And we're calling, and we're not calling heavy. We got the decoys out, and it's like they just walking past. No matter what we did, fanning the whole nine yards, they're just turkeys. I would tell you I love turkey hunting. <laughs> they have something on their mind, and it ain't our decoys. It's not our John Deere tractor. Bet you if we had a Cabela's tractor, they'd have come closer. Well then finally, finally, we got something to work in. Finally, we get them to commit, <laughs> and yeah, I jelly-headed him. Which one you kill on the right? right. Nice. Nice. Hold still. <laughs> nice. Yeah, buddy. Again, typical. We're down here with Uncle Hop, and my first day out, you know, we I make fun of turkey hunting, but it, we, we love it with you. We have so much fun, Hop. <laughs> Thank you. One oh. shot, man. That TC-20 gauge, you don't need that gu those guns that spank you, man. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Let's see the spurs on him. That's what everybody looks at anymore. Look at that. Oh, look at He's a curved. three-year-old. Non-typical. <laughs> You're non-typical. That's a beautiful uh. bird. Look at that. Good fan. Did they ever strut at the decoy? I never. I don't saw think they. I, honestly, I don't think they ever strutted. Up. He, j you know, and then they separated. He, this guy went to the went, right. He went to the right of that our decoy. And the other one stayed to the left and. Bada banged him. Hey. Yes, sir. It's been like 90 degrees the last week, and this morning it's 50. It's fi and I'll tell you what, 54. I felt there was a chill. Yeah. It was cold. Hop, we had snow like four <laughs> days ago at home. There is no chill here. It's beautiful. It's no, like, it oh. Nice today. Sweet. Congrats. Brother Hop. Thank you, man. Yeah. I make fun of it every year, but I'll tell you what, we still love it. And especially when you can share it with your wife, with your son or your daughter, your buddies, your friends. I could get into this turkey hunting. This is why come down to Florida to Osceola Outfitters because you never know what you're going to put in the freezer. <laughs> or find in the freezer. Or find in the freezer. Going down there and spending time with RJ and Ralph, I mean, it's a family event. When we go out there down to Hoppies, it's not just the three of us as part of our family, but it's the entire Kemper and all the rest of them. It's just one big family. Dear Lord, we want to thank you again for a wonderful day. Lord, we ask that you uh, be with everybody that's leaving tomorrow and give them a safe journey home. Thank you for the friends that we have here and the family. And Lord, we ask that you bless this food for the nourishing strength of our bodies. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Thank, you. Thank you. And to be able to share it down there. And I mean, the first place RJ ever hunted was down at Hops, down at Osceola Outfitters. He shot his first hog almost 15 years ago. I mean, it's been a while since we've been going to Hoppies. And back then, it was all about mom and dad, and he wanted to be with mom and dad. And yeah, it's not so much anymore for some reason. He's getting older. He's got his buddies down there, Case and Fish. You know, he's got football, girls, and all kinds of things. So mom and dad might come second fiddle, but he knows that as us going down there as a family, the memories that we're making are priceless. Ralph shot his bird yesterday here down at Hoppies. I think RJ shot his. They're all standing around chit chatting. It's my turn to hunt. I'm out from behind the camera. And look it, I'm in the truck, ready to go. Are we ready to go? It's my turn to hunt. Let's go. See, see how it is all the time. <laughs> I said, Ralph, don't go over there. Just get in. <laughs> this year going down there, I was on a mission. I was not going to have to take multiple shots at a turkey. It's just, you know what? I laughed. I jinxed myself many years ago about saying, how can someone miss a turkey with a shotgun when I've shot him with a bow? Well, it seems to have just kept biting me in the butt the entire time. Not this year. We just spotted some turkeys down the road where we're heading, so we're backing down to see if maybe we can cut in and get set up because they're in between us where we wanted to go to actually go hunting for them so we can maybe get set up on the side somewhere around here instead if we don't crash first. 
Hoppy knew of a spot where he thought the birds would be going through in the afternoon. So we went to go try getting set up there. Well, on the way of trying getting set up there, of course, what happens is we already see them, we spook them, they take off. So it's time for us to walk back to the truck. As we're getting back to the truck, all of a sudden we see birds. And Hoppy's like, quick, sit down, just get ready. They're out in the field right there. He's still standing there. We're getting set up and there's a big old tom down. That hen is coming closer. Mm -hmm. We got Ralph set up over in the middle of like an opening, but leaning up against a tree. He feels like he's like just sticking out in the middle of nowhere. We had birds coming up behind him. So as we're sitting there and we're about to give up, we can hear that we can hear gobblers drumming. We can hear them drumming, Kevin. Here we can't see him. We have no idea. He just and we keep hearing this. And Hop keeps looking behind him at this tree that he and I are sitting at. He keeps looking behind him, and sure enough, there's a tom strutting just behind us and we can't get a shot at him and he's going back and forth and back and forth we can't get this bird to come in and finally for whatever reason that bird finally saw the decoy and started working its way in he's strutting past us and I have to wait for him to get past Toppy before I can ever even think about getting a shot Those birds started going up towards the decoy and there's something goes on. They saw something they weren't happy with and all of a sudden Hop's like, you need to shoot now. So I did. <laughs> I wasn't going to leave anymore. <laughs> hey, one shot hop. Yeah. I didn't flinch on that Imagine one. That. Imagine that. I didn't flinch on that one. Well, hop. <laughs> we were kind of thinking that the game was over this afternoon. Well, I, I was thought, watching okay. The clock and I'm like, okay. And all of a sudden, I, I looked behind us. I got up and looked behind us. I saw four hens coming. Right. Now, I don't know where the hens went, but when they seen old Scruffy there, they started to the to our left and then I think they saw him and then they come They right finally were, they well, were like, okay, we're going to go. But he's, be I mean, look at the beautiful color on him. Hey, Ralph, come here, look at this. Look at these spurs. Look at the spurs on him. Look at that. He's got two ginormous spurs on wow. him. Wow. Look at, look at the size of that spur. They're sharp. You want, you want to see how sharp? No. No? Isn't he beautiful? Oh. Hop's thinking 20 pounds. <laughs> he said it's much bigger than yours, and RJ's for that matter. That's what we call turkey hunting, especially down at Hoppy's Osseo Outfitters, having a blast, sharing it with the family. I'm telling you, that's what it's all about. And we used, on mine, we used tractor that was there. I mean, yeah, it was great. It was watch them go by there all the time, and then why not just sit there and wait for them to come through? mobile blind. We had to wait forever, and all of a sudden they come out of nowhere and attack Scruffy and... With three Amigos, even. Yeah, the Three Amigos, yeah. all those buddies were out there again. And hey, this week's lucky logo? Zeiss, the ultimate in optics. If you happen to see the Zeiss logo, you need to log on to choicetv.com, click on the lucky logo button, fill out some information. Someone's going to get some great things from Zeiss as well as other places. Uh, yeah. Woo-hoo, we got lots of stuff going on. Okay, what do you think? The bottom line here is no matter what you do, take advantage of the hunting seasons, get your family together and get them outdoors. Thanks for making your choice. The choice. We'll see you next week. And remember to count your blessings too, right? Scruffy. Scruffy? Who, who is Scruffy? Oh! It came back. It flew back. See, I knew it. I knew it would return home. Thank you so much. <laughs>